All right, so it has been uh, a little while since I have given any updates about my uh, Thule Tepui Autana three-person uh, rooftop tent, and that is because I sold it. Uh, why did I sell it? Well, there's definitely a handful of reasons. Uh, it just was not for me. Um, my primary need when I'm going camping is that I need something that can uh, set up extremely quick and tear down extremely quick. And this rooftop tent was not that uh, at all. Um, I think if you're gonna get a rooftop tent, it is worthwhile um, spending the extra to get one of the hard-sided uh, clamshell style rooftop tents that just you undo a couple of latches and they've got hydraulic you know, pistons that'll pop it open. Um, that definitely makes more sense. I still don't know exactly if I would want one. Um, a lot of times when I'm camping, um, I'm with my wife and my wife is a photographer. We travel all over, but we're frequently, you know, leaving at three and four in the morning so we can get to where we want to go um, in time for the good lighting. And these rooftop tents just, they're not really made for that. Um, you can get them going quick, but like not quicker than, you know, 10 minutes. Um, the last time that I camped in it, we were actually outside of Phoenix uh, this past December and it got into like the low 30s. And what I really didn't like when I was packing up is it gets, you know, it's half frozen from the condensation uh, inside and then the temperature and breaking down camp when you got this big wet cold uh, tent it just kind of sucks to put away and specifically with the t uh, Thule Tapui the zippers are terrible I had already replaced the zippers two to three times and they just don't work and so you're fighting with this freezing cold fabric uh, trying to get it where it needs to go to zip it up and it's just not working and it just was it just was not um, a good experience um, <laughs> number two and this is an obvious one I know um, but once you get camp set up and maybe you want to you know you're camping we'll call it front country you want to go into town and get dinner you can't do that you've got a tent um, on your vehicle there's a way to, to get around this, and I, had, uh, I have a utility trailer, and I actually thought about building a little platform to just keep the tent on the trailer. That way I get to camp. You know, it's like a, a super budget fifth wheel, uh, but I didn't do that because it was it's going to be fairly expensive to, to do that. But I could see that being a pretty good alternative. Uh, so that's number two. Uh, the third reason is just... I never got used to climbing in and out of that thing at night to go to the bathroom. Um, I didn't love that. This tent, the Thule Tapui Autana 3, um, the version I bought came with this huge annex, which was great, but it's also just really, really huge. And again, another thing to set up that takes some time. I could picture it if I'm gonna be camped somewhere for multiple days, but it just, it wound up being more hassle than it's worth. Yeah, it looks cool on top of your car. You look like you're a badass adventurer, but uh, it just wasn't the right thing for me. And they're they're extremely expensive. If you're if you've got about two thousand dollars to spend on a car camping setup and you want something really nice, get yourself a really good ground tent and get some comfortable mattresses, maybe a cot, and just some other nice camp furniture uh, to make the camping experience. Um, that much better. I never actually broke down the rooftop tent in the rain, but I can imagine that that is a huge, huge pain in the ass. And then you gotta remember too, that when you get home, you need to open the tent back up, air it out, dry it off, and then put it all back together. And it just was, it just was a lot. So if you are wondering, you know, maybe what I'm using instead specifically for that style of camper. So I sold that and wound up going with 
It's this thing right here. Uh, it's called the soft topper. It's a soft retractable topper uh, for my short bed F-150. And I really love this thing because as you can see, I haul water, I do a lot of truck things. Um, and you can easily convert this from a topper to you know all the way down and retracted. And you still get really nice water uh, weatherproof storage. And I love this system because if we're camping back here or we want to be camping, I can drive around with everything I need set up right in the back. Uh, so whenever we get to camp, we can pop pop right into the into the bed, uh, go to sleep. And when we wake up, all we got to do is get out of the bed of the truck and into the cab and go. Don't have to break anything down. Uh, so I really like that. And I'm going to do a whole separate review on the soft topper. Uh, it's a really, really cool piece of equipment. They're actually out of Colorado, so gotta love that. Um, and so far, it has been really nice. I do not miss my uh, Thule Tapui Atana at all, unfortunately. Um, if I were to do a rooftop tent again, definitely spend the money to do the hard-sided clamshell. Uh, so if you like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I'll be doing uh, a review of this soft topper uh, pretty soon here. So thank you for checking it out.